Have you ever tried PineGrow to design a WordPress page? Have you possibly given up quite quickly out of frustration? That's what happened to me anyway. If you are used to working with a page builder like Oxygen or Bricks, working with PineGrow may be quite a challenge for you. If you're used to working with a page builder, it feels like PineGrow is turning everything upside down. This is because there is a very big difference in the approach to a project in both cases. Many therefore eventually give up and return to the familiar page builder. I myself needed three intensive attempts before it clicked with me. Even though I still implement projects with bricks, I increasingly use PineGrow, and as we will see, the two do not necessarily exclude each other. Why can getting started with PineGrow be so hard? Understanding the following is very important. PineGrow is not intended as a page builder at all and does not want to compete with them. Maybe he has misunderstood that too often. I tried to make the fundamental differences a bit clearer in the following. Page builders simplify and speed up the work a lot. Often, they already take care of the basic presentation of the page and establish areas that you can simply populate with elements via drag and drop. To put it simply, when working with Oxygen, Bricks or Elementor, there are many commonly used components, such as page layouts, accordions, icon boxes or sliders are already pre-made and can simply be added to the page. Then, you can focus on customizing the design and a host of settings allow for the configuration of elements. So these page images offer a high degree of comfort. Bricks and Oxygen allow extensive control over HTML and CSS simultaneously. Bricks has a hook system, which allows developers to intervene with a few lines of code. However, to do this, you must study the Bricks documentation and of course, be a little familiar with PHP code. It's very interesting for developers when it comes to implementing special requirements. The abstraction that a page builder adds to WordPress isn't just advantageous. For instance, certain standard WordPress functions are either completely disabled, Oxygen for example disables the CM, or some things work differently than they would normally do in WordPress. If you want to manually adjust something, you need to know the specifics of the page builder, and if you're lucky, everything is properly explained in the documentation. So with a page builder, you're buying a certain complexity. It is added to the basic system of WordPress, and one has to deal with it when special requests occur that the page builder cannot fulfill. Let's stick with Bricks. If Bricks does not offer a placeholder for a dynamic value by default, you have to build this placeholder yourself with Bricks specific code. Maybe it just needs a call to a simple WordPress function with parameters. But you have to pack this function into a Bricks function. To be able to use the self-made placeholder within Bricks, it won't be necessary for most projects, but let's mention this as a concrete example. After all, Bricks has a fairly well-documented interface for developers. That's a big advantage over the competition. Another point might be even more important when it comes to adding complexity to the base system. Many web designers use not only the page images of their choice, but also several plugins from other providers, which in turn expand the page builder with functions or elements. This can quickly lead to dependencies, which can cause problems over time with updates. It's perhaps not that tragic if you only have to take care of one website and fix a mistake every few months after an update. But if you are creating professionally for your client websites and keeping them up to date, it can be very time consuming and annoying when many websites suddenly have errors after an update. Of course, you do updates on a test system and not live right away, but imagine having to invest time and troubleshoot suddenly on 10, 20 or more websites. This can quickly lead to sleepless nights. Of course, we all use plugins to expand WordPress, that's clear. However, it's wise to keep the amount of plugins used to a minimum. 
Personally, I don't think it's okay if updates change the CSS or JavaScript that I have to rely on in the website frontend. There's no reason to change the CSS or JavaScript of a live website. As long as I, as a developer, do not intentionally make design or functional changes. When the design of a web page is done, it's done. It would be optimal if all plugins that are only needed during development time before going live, they could simply be uninstalled or at least reduced to a minimum. However, this is not possible. Unfortunately, page builder updates have often led to broken websites. Let's turn to Pine Grove. I've already said, Pine Grove is not intended as a page builder at all. Instead, Pine Grove is primarily a visual development environment for HTML and CSS. Furthermore, it allows the creation of JavaScript-based animations. What's interesting for us is that Pinegrow comes with an extension for creating WordPress themes and WordPress blocks. Actually, Pinegrow is a desktop application, optionally for Windows, Mac OS or Linux. However, for some time now, there has been a WordPress plugin that works almost exactly like the app and can be used directly in the browser. So if Pinegrove isn't a page builder for WordPress, what is it then? Pangrove for WordPress is a theme builder. You can create WordPress themes with it, but you can also create WordPress blocks with it. So Gutenberg blocks. The special thing is that you're completely free in your design. Everything that can be done with HTML, CSS and JavaScript can also be implemented with Pinecrow. With this, you can seamlessly switch between visual design and coding. Code and visual representation are always in sync. There's no abstract intermediate layer, like a database table where the CSS classes used are stored. Everything is in the code in HTML, CSS, JavaScript and PHP. If you combine a theme you built yourself with your own Gutenberg blocks, you get a completely individual website. Of course, there's nothing wrong with extending this with more high quality plugins, but the number of necessary plugins is almost automatically reduced. Even though Pinegrow currently offers only minimal support for block based themes, so called FSE themes, you can also create such themes with it. There are absolutely no limits to you. You decide whether you want to build a classic or FSE theme. By the way, FSC here stands for Full Site Editing. Now we finally come to the biggest difference between page builders and Pinegrow. You need to know how WordPress works. Pinegrow doesn't hide complexity, but it provides you with tools to incorporate WordPress functions into your design. Instead of you having to type the PHP code yourself, which you could also do, Pinegrow generates this code for you. You can always check out the code that's produced. Personally, I've learned so much about WordPress and how themes work. Instead of having to learn the abstraction layer of a page builder, you're learning to work directly with WordPress. And last but not least, your theme created with Pinecrow and your blogs have no dependencies on third-party plugins, unless you install them yourself. You can completely remove the Pinecrow plugin or delete the Pinegrow desktop application once the website is ready. Your theme or plugin works independently of this. The generated code can be passed on and developed independently of Pinegrow if necessary, so it is not a vendor login. That's a crucial unique selling point. Let's summarize that quickly again. Page builders allow a very fast visual way of working. Individual pages can be directly built into images but this inevitably mixes up content and design. Avoiding this then causes more effort. With Pinecrow you create a theme and blocks. You focus on design and function. Contents come later. With Pinecrow hybrid blocks you have real dynamic components. Design and content are separate. Page builders offer many ready-made elements that are easy to use. With Pinegrow, for instance, you can use Bootstrap or Tailwind, but you actually build everything simply with HTML and CSS. Page builders add an abstraction layer to WordPress. 
which also leads to dependencies beyond the time of website creation. Pinegro works directly at the WordPress level. You work with WordPress. No vendor login.